What? Stop it. There we go. Hi. Hello, Chatty Chatter. Welcome aboard to you. <laughs> you. And this music's cool. It begins. Indeed, it does. Welcome aboard. Good to see you all here for more Farthest Frontier. Welcome back, chat. Let's go. Well, we're here because you guys have wanted to see more, and I certainly wanted to play a lot more of this, too. There are so many games coming out this week, it's ridiculous. Like, there there are DLCs and updates and new releases, like uh, Farming Sim, Construction Sim, Farthest Frontier, um, Dredge, Teardown. It's like at least uh, almost 15 games that we've enjoyed over the last year have like all updated within this last week so it's crazy to take a look at all the new stuff anyway welcome back good to see you we're going to continue where we left off yesterday in our big o new first look at the new update which is version um as it says on the steam store page point 91 there's uh raiders who will now camp around the city and um a lot of other things too so if you want to see everything that's new check the patch notes on steam under the uh, recent update which is there's a lot of new stuff a lot of new stuff a lot of changes uh, but those are some of the biggest and we went over a lot of those yesterday in our previous stream too so make sure you uh check out yesterday's live stream of farthest frontier episode one as we start a new city and a new update highly recommended that you start new because um the developers say that you won't be able to get the new, new Raider member. camps Welcome. without that. Yo, Barsby, with the 21 months, thank you very much for being a bear cub for so long. Morning premieres are my favorite. Oh, good. Yeah, we put out a video as often as we can. In fact, it's like four pieces of content a day. There, there's so much stuff to watch here on this channel, Chad. It's, it's crazy. Um... And YouTube doesn't even send out notifications for all of it. So, I mean, regardless, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. But check the channel multiple times on the daily to see what's new, what's hot, what's upcoming, what's free for a demo. Oh, man. All right, yesterday we made an incredible... I, I honestly think in our stream yesterday, all this that we did, this is a crazy amount of progress in a very short amount of time. This is probably the most productive we've ever been in Farthest Frontier for a very long time. Uh, so right now we're waiting for a ton of people to cut down trees. We built a couple of cemeteries here. And we're building all sorts of new stuff, including uh, forgers and hunters and uh, fishing. We got fishing going on and whatnot. So let's see. Take a look at materials. We've got uh, no logs. Lots of firewood. Lots of planks. We can probably cut back on the plank production quite a bit. And we've already gotten to tier two today, uh, yesterday. So now we just got to get to a population of 130, to which we have housing for 108, which is fantastic. And some of these houses should upgrade so long as they get the desirability that they need. And that's probably going to be via school, which we're already starting on by building uh, or mining clay. We can also put down a, what is it, the uh, clinic? Yeah. Oh, and the uh, temple, too. We'll just need a few, few more things for that. Well, we could build the school for 150, the healer for 20, oh, 100 for that. Um, I feel like we maybe should do a healer first. School is very important, but a healer, of course. There we go. Pop that down, too. The only thing we're low on is gold, but luckily we've got all the houses within the catchment area. And we're building more defensive towers, yeah. We haven't been attacked yet, so that's the biggest concern right now. Is like we're obviously going to be attacked at some point, so we're getting ready for it. We have a few towers that are overlapping each other, and that's cool. Let's build a little well back there. The tannery, okay, cool. Very nice. Hey, Tan, good to see you. 
Yeah, welcome to our moderators. Thanks again, mods, for uh, helping out the chat with links and things like that and keeping everything on track. Oh, predators are attacking. Hold on. That's finally a bear. All right. That guy does not know he's about to be attacked. Who is that guy? Oh, that's got to be one of the fishermen. All right, run on back home, bro. Where are our hunters? We got a bear, a bear over there. Oh, it looks like the hunter's coming to help. Yep, he's shooting the bear. He's trying to, anyway. I think we could sound a red alert shortly. Everybody's running. Nice. Hunters are incredibly important, man. Glad they get extra armor and stuff against animals and creatures. You excited to see more of us play? Yeah. Well, we're going to build a big O city together, Chad. It's going to be big O crazy. Good city so far. One of our best, truly. I'm going to try to cut down a lot of these trees. We'll leave some now and let them regrow a little bit. We don't need any more planks for a little while. We will need more planks, but... Try to get everybody more onto log cutting now. Also, one of the new things for the update is that it is uh, more frequent that we will see lizards in this landscape. So we'll see... Um, how frequently that actually happens. That's another thing to be aware of. Yeah, the newest version is version 0.91. Lizards? No, blizzards. But yeah, lizards could also be a threat. Who knows? All right, we got to get desirability up to 30. And then we also need herbs. Which I haven't actually seen. We'll have to see if our, our foragers can find that. I think maybe we'll build another forager down here. Now we'll build two. Very easy job. And a very important one, too. I had lizard on my mind, yeah. Blizzards. Gotta watch out for Godzilla, he'll attack like in the original SimCity games. Those were cool. Alright, we got 32 clay, nice. We got the little healer's hut going up, good. We got guard towers nearing completion, excellent. Could build a few more houses there, bud. I'm glad we took the time to flatten out a lot of the land at the start. It was a very smart move to uh, get a lot of that done because now we can utilize all this land. A lot of people are hesitant about uh, terraforming early on. I think that it's a waste of time, but uh, the more consolidated that your settlement is, the easier it is to defend, especially against uh, animals and such. You get a higher concentration of people closer together meaning that they can uh, run a little faster. As in, the threat will be detected and they can get to the camp at the right time. You're waiting for that raid? I know, it's coming. 
Well, it more likely will happen in the spring, and we have a population of, nice, 69 right now, so. Buildings need more workers, they sure do. Oh, uh, we got the farm done, that's why. Well, we don't need anybody farming now. Or actually, they're, they're building this farm field. Um, let's hold off on that for now. Last time we were really trying to push it, we could get a lot of farmers, but... Uh... Oh, don't do autofill. Last time I was really trying to push it to see if we could get a farm. But we gotta get logs first. Might be another year, but that's okay. We can clear a lot of land around here and build a few more houses, too. Just keep steadily growing that population. Things are going quite well. Yep. Get those rookie numbers up. Rookie numbers. And we need compost, which we're building over here. Oh, that's why they're clearing that area. Yeah, the, the compost site will be up there. We'll also start on building a road that goes up that way. Wow, lots of smoked meat and fish. That's great. And okay on nuts and berries. Well, berries are low, but... Roads? Yeah, we're going to need those roads, chat. Yep. What is that? Oh, our smokehouse. Oh, is the smokehouse overloaded? I'm going to take a look at our root cellar. Okay, we just need more people to transport. How are we doing with fresh meat, though? Mm, that looks like we're able to get most of it done. We just need more people transporting. We got six guards, that's good. Good, good. spoilage. Eight mushrooms. We'll never get those back. Uh oh, wait a minute. Ah, the bear tax begin. And there's the towers. Good. Beautiful. You know, that's how it always goes. We always want to build up on the top and then build some towers and then there's always a uphill bear attack like that. Building that compost yard. Keep building that road up to the compost site. Keep that away from town and closer to the farms because that's where it's going to be needed.
pretty winter again. Yeah, the sun's shining for me. Future's so bright. Gotta wear shades, baby. Hey, new villagers born. Good. Up to 70 population, of which 43 are fit to work. Yeah, I was at 69 before. Oh, that's another thing, too. Right at the start of the game, there was a wolf den near us, and we sent out hunters, and they immediately took care of the wolves. So that's, that's legendary. Gotta find herbs, though. Herbs and greens. There is some here. It could be fertile. So, oh, it would be good to farm down there too for some greens. Up here, it's very fertile too. But I'm not sure what the soil type is like. I'm assuming it's clay. We're also making baskets, which is nice. Yeah, we can always import herbs if we don't find any. Oh, we gotta get these houses to tier two and they, they want they want them spices, you know. cut down the forest around us though um, except for maybe down here there's so many good hazelnut trees it would be great if we could actually grow those at the orchards um, the orchards are mostly for fruits like peaches what is it apples and pears but it'd be really cool if we could actually have um, you know like walnuts and uh, chestnuts and what we whatever else you know be kind of cool That'd be super cute. All right, two gold left on that. And then we have ourselves a healer, which at least will increase uh, desirability a little bit. Love it. We got this place locked down. Look at that gold ore, too. Mm. 4,000 there. Another 7,000 there. I think there's more in the mountain, too. Another 7,000. There's sand up there. 8,000. Two deposits of iron ore right next to each other. It's 6,300. Unless that's one giant deposit. I don't know. Wow. We're going to be doing mining over here. Farming at the top. More of the city at the bottom. And in the east, maybe some more farming, too. Still need more logs. If we could get a group to show up. Well, if we could get a group of survivors to show up, or whatever you call them, immigrants, that'd be great. We could put them right on farm. They'd become our new farmers, and boom. They'd be in charge of growing this city like never before. All wood is needed. Yep. Dude, I, you know what? Honestly, so I've been playing a lot of Stronghold um, Definitive Edition lately, too, on the channel. And so was Lumberjack and Uthras. Um, and, man, I, I didn't realize how much that game was kind of like this. But Stronghold is kind of like a, a little faster than this because, you know... The cool thing about this game is it's, it's like Banished and Stronghold, too. Like, once you start building your walls and putting gates around the castle and stuff. But, man, Stronghold's a lot of fun. We, like, finished one of the campaigns and are close to finishing another of the new ones. And there's more stuff coming down the line. Uh, Strongholds is great. I can't wait for them to add more. Alright, six years in. 
All right, but it's spring now, so you know what that means. You can't grow nuts because it's no nut November. What? I can go buy all the peanuts I want. Oh, you know, it's been a while, though, since I've had uh, pistachios. Dude, pistachios are the most satisfying um, nut to, like, the shell or whatever. Peanuts are okay. And, um... Like, cashews, I, n I never see those with a shell on. Cashews are so buttery, though. Oh, we got somebody with dysentery. Uh-oh. Well, luckily, we got the healer. Good timing. Perfect. That person's already being taken care of. Awesome. Hey, what's up, James? All right. Build a bunch more houses here. I'm going to keep building more houses because I need to get more people in for the market, too. Oh, the roasted nuts around Christmas time? Yeah, I like those almonds and stuff. So good. Yeah. That's one thing I'm going to do this year, Chad. Is just, I'm going to go to the mall this year and not necessarily... I mean, maybe I'll do some Christmas shopping, but it's nice to... Uh, Go to the mall around the holidays and just smell all the stores. Oh, uh, there's something about winter time where like the Cinnabon at the mall just it, it just it's like amplified times five, crazy. That power. Pistachios are great for making bread. Oh yeah. That's true. Pistachio ice cream? Oh yeah, that's good too. Yep. Now right, let's build another wave of homes. I know it seems crazy, but trust me. Oh, and the trader. Gorb is here. A, and a villager immigrated. And two new babies are born. Huzzah. Well, what do we got here, Scorv? Logs. Don't really have much money. He'll buy some of our stone. I'll trade 20. We can get a lot more of that. And I'll buy some logs. Twenty-eight, fourteen. all right. That'll help us to build those remaining homes. Get them done. Pistachio ice cream's the devil. It's really good. It, it is good. I've had it like once before. I bought it. Like, oh, this is interesting. This sounds good. I bought it at the store and I was like, wow. Quite good. Let's build a well there, too. I built one down there for some of the houses at the bottom, but we'll expand. We want your Christmas stew? Oh, the one I made like uh, the day before? Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, that's good. Oh, looks like we're mining that too. Score of all trade. Ooh, we got a fire. Put that into town storage. I 
And we gotta get that compost site built. People been slacking. Yeah, that house was very lit. Yep, very dank. <laughs> oh, good. All that extra luggage paid off. We built all the homes. We could build like one or two more up here. Sriracha chili is the bomb from your wife? Oh, that's cool. Sriracha chili, that sounds good. All sorts of good recipes people come up with. Chat comes up with some good recipes on her Discord. We got like a cooking section in there. Every time, Chat's like, didn't have a lot of time. Just whip this up real quick and then it's like a beautiful, like, gorgeous meal. You know, like it's, it, it, it's crazily presentable and pretty. Uh, that must have been the dysentery and scurvy too. All right, we're having a couple of deaths due to mostly disease, which not good. Scurvy and dysentery. Oh, that person's still active with that. There we go. Oh, didn't auto assign a doctor. That's why. Oh, okay, because it was out of money, and then we auto assigned. Okay, we're good. Okay, we need a school now too, so we can keep retraining doctors and such. Definitely do that. And we'll sneak a school maybe over here. More traders coming in. Sure who that's gonna be. Where are the blueberry bushes? Uh, we got a couple, but we haven't. We don't have enough to yet to build our farm. There's a few bushes around, but that's it. Not enough to build uh, our glorious farm. Doctor's working again, but we gotta get patience to go in there. Oh, looks like she'll buy shoes. Alright. We're just using this to get started on some money. And what you selling? Heavy tools for a high price, unfortunately. All right, looks like the road's getting done, and let's prioritize that compost yard. It needs to get done. The city's getting... Uh, a lot of this, the health issues will stem from that. I knew about that. That's why we tried to build the compost yard early, but it's going to take a little bit to get done. Chicken omelet. Good stuff. Come on, let's get that compost yard done. Fifteen logs and fifteen planks, it should be fine. Your building going on, what are they building? Oh, the school. I don't want you building the school.
All right, the city's got 500 gold now. Beautiful. More hazelnut. There's some greens there. That's good. 8K worth of sand. Ah, blueberry bush. That over there. Uh, yeah, a uh, hospital, um, we built that for now. The healer's house is the hospital, but it's the tier one. Uh, if we're going to upgrade it, the healer's house can be upgraded to a hospital, and that has to be, we have to get our town to, like, the next tier. Oh, good, it looks like they're almost done. We just need to move that stone out of the way. so it can build faster. And we'll prioritize and build two of these. Compost is one of those things where it's always going to need to be taken out, so you can always build more than what you need. All right, villagers are being cured. That's good. Roads can be upgraded. Hey, we got nine people moving in. Hell yeah. That's big. All right, perfect. That's what we needed. Huzzah. So now with nine additional people here, we can... Um... Yeah, we'll have enough laborers. So that means all the trees and rocks and things will be cut down and cleared out quickly. Very nice. Mushrooms. Badger, badger, badger. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's good weather for chocolate chip cookies, huh? Yeah. Fresh out of the oven. Good stuff. on the uh, composters.
predators. Uh, bear. Yeah, bears. Bum, bum. Sugar cookies, those are good too, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so a buck fifty on the school and then twenty five planks, that should be fine. Hopefully we'll make some money with trade in the next year. Oop. Heard a bear die. Yo, what's up, Timmy? Lots of work to do. Frontier. Wow, that was very creative. Got a graphic designer in the chat here. Villager died to death. Illness. Weird. Some of these people are quote unquote ill, but then they don't go to the healer that we built and they're paying for and that's staffed. Alright, well, luckily disease has been banned. Healer needs herbs. Uh, they need money. <laughs> I think they heal automatically through money. What's the purple resource next to the compost? Oh, uh, probably Hawthorn. Oh, good. Well, the composters are part of the problem with the health, but it looks like they're finally building them. They're finally starting to deliver what they need. Snickerdoodles are awesome. That's a good one. Uh, bear. <laughs> Great, three new people moved in. Wonderful. No, there's no bear dens. Bears just kind of spawn randomly. I hope eventually all the animals will get dens. Which would be cool. Am I feeling better? Uh, yeah, I felt good for like the last week and a half. Feeling good, brother. Feeling good in the neighborhood. That's Applebee's, I think. But, you know, when you're here, you're family, right? When you're here, you're family. Right. Um.
Ah, finally. One of the uh, compost sites will be finished. Good. All right, perfect. That'll improve health dramatically. Get everything cleaned up. And we'll stock up uh, basically fertilizer for the farms for the next year. Now that we got a bunch of people moving in, might be able to start on a farm. And that villager was cured. Excellent. The thick forest down there. comes the composter. Excellent. Yeah, we'll be able to do gold mining, I think, in the next couple of tiers. It'll be a little while till we can get that gold, but... And then we'll get that school up, too. If we don't find too many herbs, we'll have to have, uh, what's his name? Orv. We'll have to buy a bunch of herbs from him. Can you get some stuffed crust pizza with a demo dish, please? I think you mean demo disc. You talking about the PlayStation 1 demo disc for, from Pizza Hut? Back from, like, the late 90s? Oh, man. What a time to be alive that was. Getting all your, your reader points done or whatever your pizza points from reading and then going to a, dom uh, a pizza hut and then getting a PlayStation demo disc. Absolute royalty. You were treated like royalty at these places. Wow, you read a, a, you read a book? Here, let's get some fat and cheese and oil in you and get you a, a PlayStation disc. <laughs> you talk to yourself when you play games on your own like a habit from the videos? Nah, usually when I'm done after a long day of streaming, I'm kind of just like a little tuckered out. So I like I don't like to do any talking at the end of the day, you know. Like if I if I go do something, it's listening. So if anybody <clears throat> needs to like uh, talk to me afterwards after the streams or whatever, it's it's mostly listening or just to, yeah, let me let me write you a message back. Like they'll ask me a bunch of questions and then I'll be like, okay, let me let me end this call and then I'll just write you because it's just easier to gives me more time to write things out. So I do more writing, I guess. Good question. Good question. Hey, second compost site is done. Good. Let's clean out all that damn... All that waste. Get it out of there. And now we'll start on the school. And the school will bring in desirability, and that desirability will bring in more people. Hopefully. Ah, yes. Wow, they're getting stuff done quick, man. This town is just doing everything. Does Raptor have office hours after streams? Yeah, well, uh, office hours are when I'm awake and then end when I go to sleep. <clears throat> Seriously, during our last stream, my phone was exploding with, like, all sorts of new games that were getting, like, announcements uh, for, like, 
DL, like DLC, like this week, like the whole rest of this week, it's just update, DLC, release, update, DLC, release. Like it's 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 crazy. Age of Empires, teardown. Um, then we've got construction simulator. Then farming simulator just had a DLC. Then this game had an update. Like bro, and I love all these games. They're so fun to play. They're good. They're all different and enjoyable. And it's just like not enough time, dude. And the good thing is, is I think we do, we cover like all the new games and we try to play, and it's not just like a quick video on, hey, here's all the things that are new and that's it. We actually play the games too. You know, I could have just did a quick uh, 10 minute video on all the stuff that was new in this game. But I want to play the games too. It's the same with like Age of Empires 4. You know, there's a new campaign, but I don't just want to make a video being like, yeah, the can't, you know, campaign's cool, I guess. All right, can we get a teacher in here? All right, good. Yep, ATS uh, DLC confirmed for the 30th of November for Kansas. Yep, just saw that too, yep. Yep. Do I stream on Twitch? Uh, no, not really. Over the last eight years, I streamed once, like two days ago on Twitch. Two or three days ago. And the link is uh, broken because I changed the Twitch name, so I'll have to figure out a way to change it on YouTube. For when I stream there in the future. So I would say follow me, but, uh, you know. But I think I'll stream there more in the future. It'll be kind of cool to... So here's the deal, too, on YouTube. Uh, at a certain point, YouTube YouTube wants us to make content, but if we make too much content, then YouTube stops sending out notifications, which is completely BS. I feel like anything on YouTube should be... You, you guys, the viewer, should have complete control on what you watch. And the nice thing is, is if you get notifications for something you're not interested in, then you just don't watch it. But YouTube wants control and power which in turn gives them money. So if they if they notify you of things that they want you to watch more than others, it'll help them to make more money and whatnot. But for you guys, it's like if you subscribe and turn on the notification bell, you should be told of everything. So that way you can choose to watch something or choose not to watch something. I mean, you can't make a choice if you don't know that you have a choice. And that's what the, that's what the notification bell is supposed to be for. So on YouTube, if we make like if we stream or make more than like three videos a day, YouTube just stops sending out notifications. So it's like the way to get around that is to just make a second, then a third, then a fourth, then a fifth, then a twelfth, then an eighteenth channel. And so it's like um, you know why why not just have the system work? But that that's the thing is that it's not broken; it's fixed. They want it to be that way. They want one person to make 12 channels and then YouTube could say, dude, YouTube grew by X number of channels this year. It's not because people wanted to make channels, it's because they had to. So anyway, a couple ways to get around that is we, we have a second channel where there's nothing really going on at the moment, but eventually we'll start to stream to Twitch and bring stuff there too to buy, but I mean, I just want to play games and have you guys watch them and give you the option to watch if you want to, but YouTube doesn't want you to have options. So. And Raptoria is too big for YouTube now. They don't want to give us the, uh... Yeah, they want people to make networks, not channels. That's right. But, you know, me telling you guys, hey, sub to my eight other channels. This is like, no, dude. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody should have to do that. Yeah, we're in Baerborg right now. That's the name of our city. All right, well, good news is we cleaned up all the problems. Did I get the million plaque? Yeah, you can uh, see that on Instagram. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is the latest updated version, yep. Year seven. All right, do we have enough people to start farming? Not really, but we should do it. Ooh, some of the houses are upgrading, I think. Or not. No, not yet. Yeah, the Stegosaurus channel, yep. Yeah. yeah, year seven, no raids yet. You know, I'm wondering what ha what may have happened. I, I wonder if, like, a, a raider camp spawned next to, like, a wolf den, and then they got wiped out, and we didn't see it happen, and it's just extended the time for a raid or something. Or maybe they've made it so raids don't happen as often now, but when they do happen, it has to do with the... Um, with like those camps being near your town. I don't know, maybe they've rebalanced things. next thing we should do so we'll have a trader come in again I think we should build a pottery thing but we need to get our population up so we're gonna have a lot of people farming oh, I gotta assign people to farming too Alright, it's spring, so if we're going to be attacked, it's likely now, unless things have changed for the, uh, for the year, for the update on how years work. Was getting a little low. Yeah, the Raiders left Oakland. That's right, they're coming across the bridge. And here comes our traders. Perfect. What a good year. Another good year. Blimp's going to show up pretty soon. Yeah, lakeside builds. Yeah. Yeah, it's a requirement. The lakes are just too pretty and neat to look at. Plus, um,. I don't know, like, it would just feel weird to, like, leave out fishing. Oh, there's our blueberry bushes. Uh-huh. that peaceful rain again. Ah, finally a raid of 16. Damn. 
All right. Finally. A lot of them are coming along the lake, and apparently some up here. Oh yeah, there they are. Well, we're ready. We're ready. sell. And I don't want to buy. is over. Yeah, they all look pretty dead to me. Oh wait, still a guy. Thirteen have been killed, three of them must have ran away. Well, good job, everybody. We took care of them. Excellent. Yeah, I hope they enjoyed their stay. Mm -hmm. Brief. Oh, there's still a guy. These guys were late. And he's going to get ready to run. There he goes. He'll probably escape. Yeah, there was lightning in the town, yeah. Happens in the springs. Oh, we got away with just a sliver of health. That's right. That Bad traitors. You. Leave Bear Borg alone. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Super Chatter. Member, viewer, donator, tipper. Thank you. Better late than never. Yeah. All right, well, that was good. We can just add another guard to each of those towers, and that'll buff those defenses a little bit. It looks like they may try to attack the market, which is fine, because look at all those, <laughs> all those lines around the market. All right, first try. Okay, we'll hope for another trader shortly. with those farmers. Wolf eliminated. Good.
Yeah, zero AD is a pretty cool game. Yeah, none of our people died on the first raid, and good, good first raid. This 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 town is all good vibes. Going pretty damn well. And then those farmers hopefully will be done with that field for the next year. The next year we could start farming for real. buy planks of wood for quite a bit of money. Gold's important. I'll trade 130. Planks. Oh yeah, if you missed the first dream, it's it's on the channel. Village was raided. They pillaged nothing, they all died. Yep, it was a complete failure for them. And three new immigrants into the city. Good. I feel like the devs may have increased the frequency of immigration. Which is nice, especially when you're a new settlement, because you're growing and people should be finding out about you. over a thousand gold in the city. Perfect. is a nice building. Okay, we're good on that stuff. thousand more on the farm we can definitely start farming by next year good good So now, we should probably get that firewood number up. Oh, there he is. Get two people on firewood now. Yeah, there's a few blueberries on the map. That's about it. I haven't found any herbs yet either. So I'm hoping uh, Scorv will show up soon. Buy some of those. Too bad we can't grow those. But that's okay.
All right, everything looks looking good. What's up, Indrid? Good to see you. Welcome. Hmm. Which Chad do I prefer? Probably the OG, but Chad, of course, will prefer the bear. Mm -hmm. They sure would. So need to get food types up too, but that's what the farm will be for. It's gonna be a little bit of a struggle to get these houses to upgrade, but I think the hardest thing to do will be food related. Both herbs and multiple food types. But herbs will be not impossible. The Dylan emotes your favorite? Yeah. Yeah, the quarry was a fun game, but we got scammed at the end. The quarry, we got scammed with that one girl dying in the freezer. Like, what the... I think it, actually a few people found that to be a weird thing. I may have changed that. But who knows? Um. Man, look at those colors. Ooh. Well, it's true, Pacific Blue. Otherwise, we get people talking about, like, uh, how to rebuild a carburetor while we're playing, like, The Sims. And I'm talking about The Sims and about uh, answering a question that I had about, like, making tomato soup or something. And meanwhile, sometimes in the chat, three different groups of two people will have personalized conversations that are more appropriate for the Discord when it's supposed to be a group chat. We are supposed to have a little bit of a group think here because it's like we're kind of all going in one direction. We're all here to see this one game and chat about whatever related to gaming. But sometimes people get a little, people need a little wrangling. But more recently than not, there's been a lot more need to wrangle. Because someone's asking me a question and I look over in the chat and we got people talking about how to rebuild a Hemi. Someone else talking about the adverse effects of building hydroelectric dams on the western United States affecting salmon migrations and native populations that rely on those salmon since the 1850s. And someone else talking about uh, Betty Crocker recipe for brownies. It's kind of hard to navigate. That's all I'm saying. It's just a little too confusing. Then people will come in and be like, is this even live? Because nobody's even chatting about this amazing city that Raptor's building. All valid topics, true. But there's a time and a place. Like, if we're playing a fishing game, that's probably when we'll be talking about that.
We can tone down the message, but like, you know. Remember, you guys are more than welcome to use the Discord to talk about, like, uh, if, if you're having a if you have a technical issue that needs like specific guidance for, feel more than welcome to like be like, hey guys, you can be in the chat and be like, hey, does anyone know how to fix a a laptop issue I'm having? Like, I'll be in the Discord or something like that, and people will more than more than be more than willing to help out. <laughs> they just gotta know that you have a problem, so you can always you know just go straight to the Discord or just chat here. But sometimes it becomes like, uh, what was that thing from like the 90s phone party or whatever where like 20 people could call into a line? Like it's just, it's a mess. It's a mess. You feel really uncomfortable chatting when people have the really off topic conversations? Yeah. Well, it's fun when everybody, it, it's really nice to know, like when I ask chat something, it is like I am legit asking, be like, dude, you. Yeah, like, if you could have burger or pizzas right now, like, what would you go for? Like, that's a legit question. And then we can all start talking about that. And it ties into the game because I suppose, you know, it's a topic that would come up when I said, if we have low food or something like that, I'd be like, damn it, I wish this town could have pizza and burgers. Chat, if you could have pizza or burgers, what would you have right now? One for pizza, two for burgers. Pizza all the way, duh. Are you sure, Uthris? Because you know how you and I got... You know, how we feel now about the Totino's Party pizzas being squared off. It's literally a pizza for squares now. No more roundage. No more roundage. Although I could really go for a burger with some cider right now. You know, like a, a good burger. Some, like, thick cut fries and, like, a, 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 a thing, a, like a, a, a glass of cider would be awesome. But, no, never a wrong time for pizza. Let's see, what are we gonna grow? We got a pretty oh, pretty good soil actually. Good for I think that'd be good for cabbage. Oh yeah, it's perfect for cabbage. Nice. Cabbage. But before we uh farm, we do need to remove rocks and weeds. Oof. Let's work the field for the first year. We'll work, a, we'll work a year of uh, removing weeds and rocks and see how that goes. While sad, uh, they're square and a lot smaller. The ROI is still solid. I don't know. They, they don't taste the same. I feel scammed. And you know, any time that a company makes any change to any recipe, it's, it's always a lie. It's always to sell you less charge you more no matter how much they say 30 30 percent more yeah i'm sure it is there's one one peanut in a huge jar do 30 percent more jar yeah well that's jarring planters stop scamming and you know then i like when they put grips into things where they like they shape a bottle or something to make it look like you're gonna have as if like you're gonna be you know how it is, like, for those of you who just walk on jet airline engines while the engine is uh, traveling at 400 miles an hour, you need to have a grip on everything. You know, anytime they reshape bottles and stuff like that, it's just to put less in there. It's like, oh, this is for more grip. No, it's not. The way the smart bottle, the smart water bottles, where they're just a standard bottle, you don't, we don't need this little reservoir at the top, like razor thin, like you need a microscope to see the spot between and, 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 and the bottom of it. Stop it. All that marketing is just so insulting, especially when you got the two friends where there's always the dumb friend, you know? Hey, Stacy, I just plowed my truck into the back of this bakery delivery van. Well, don't worry. I'm sure you have Allstate, right, Ted? What's insurance? Tell me more. Really, Ted? You, you made it 32 years of life without, one, not knowing how to pilot your automobile and ended up in the back of the bakery delivery van, and two, you... Okay.
<sighs> Oatmeal cream pie is so thin now it takes two to equal the one of the old ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, it's it's seriously now everything is just like everything's just three D printed now. It's like how much the amount of uh, cream you get in an Oreo now is just like I, what what's thinner the patty of a White Castle burger now or I mean we're literally looking at the you have to have like a microscope molecular levels now we're Just any time I see a package redesigned, it just, I just, I just, the red, I just scam, 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 scam. Like, yeah, you don't, you don't need to redesign the craft. You know the biggest thing too. Love it. You'll have like the old thing of mac and cheese in like the back of the counter or in the in the pantry, and you'll go buy some more, and then when you put this same exact. The box you just bought that looks exactly the same as the box that's in the back and you just realize there's like that one, like that one eighteenth of an inch difference in the packaging and you're like, those bastards, they must have taken one noodle from me. A slight difference in the packaging. Oh, oh when that happens, it's just like you're out. Excommunicated. Craft, you're out. You're out of this house. Rebranded with the Hershey's XL or Giant Bars, but they're the same as the original. Yeah, that or, you know, no, nothing better for the kids at Halloween than the fun size. Yeah, okay. Let's take a big steak. Let's go to Texas Roadhouse and let's have a fun size steak. Oh, let me put this, uh, you know, 18 ounce. Uh, sir oh, got it. Hold on. Let me cut out the fun size bit and take the rest of the steak away. Here, enjoy your one, maybe two bites of your fun size. Boy, that seems fun, doesn't it? That's real fun. Fun size. Ridiculous. However, though, I will say though, it it is nice at Halloween at least to dabble in different candies and not not to open up the massive bar of just one so I guess they've kind of got a little bit of a point but do you know the real size of a 2x4 yeah 2x4 not even 2x4 anymore bro if they could build a house out of toothpicks no future houses look your children's children's house will be built by like a 3D printer rig showing up on like a semi flatbed, it'll just deploy over the plot. It'll 3D print a house in 18 hours and then leave, and that'll be it. It'll just be three. It'll it'll be like everything will look like Lego. The house will be 43 trillion dollars. Ultra mega hyperinflation. But it'll be nice, and it'll be a new build, so you know it's going to be bad. Chat, okay. We had John's house in Red Dead Redemption too, yeah. Uh. Yeah, two by fours are a lie. Or we lost our wage yet. Oh, right, anyway, in all my blind rage just now, I forgot what I was doing. What is that? Oh, spirituality. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we can finally build our church, I suppose. 
Or actually, we could build shrines. What even is a 2x4? That's just the standard piece of wood that's like in all construction. Or it was. Now it's all Simpson straps and gray beam. Look at all the carp stealthy carpenters in the chat now. Look at, look at all the people. <laughs> well, you should know some some information about construction nowadays. Then you get to build your own stuff, which is cool. Thirteen new shorts are up. Damn. That's that's what Tan specializes in. Tan, tan is like a. Uh, we got to come up with a term for that. A. Hmm. Some something media consultant would be funny. Wow, Tan made 13 new shorts. Let, let me tab out. Let me tab out and start downloading those. Hold on. Thank you, Tan. I gotta. I'm serious too. I, Tan, I need to give you access to do things on the channel so you can release things when you think they'll be. If you and Screech are gonna put in all that effort to have to put up with me again and edit all that stuff, I want you guys to be able to release them when you think they would be best. Because at this point, it's anybody's guess on YouTube. Like I could. I could just have a monkey throw a uh, a dart at a wall, just filled with a bunch of squares, and whatever it says to do on YouTube, I'll just do that, and it'll it probably be more successful than hiring like Mr. Beast team to like determine what, what I'm gonna do next. What's up, T Bone? Where's the steak? Uh uh uh. No steak here, Chad. This fun size steak. Oh, that. Oh, that's what you. That is. Yes, that's what YouTube Shorts are like too. We used to have. YouTube used to be like Wendy's and Pizza Hut when they used to have like the whole buffet. And then it's like, well, let's take away the buffet. With all these weird, unnecessary features, and let's just make it about videos. But now it's like. Bro, you can't even you can't even go to like the main page of YouTube and scroll down without just an absolute garbage truck worth of garbage just being dumped off in front of you. It's like we'll start them off with a video to make them remember the time where this website used to be about videos. Then let's hit them with the uh, the full page banner ad, then a community post from somebody asking the medical question or something like a Q&A of four answers then let's pop in another community post then we'll do that thing with the where it shows three shorts side by side then it'll be another uh, video but it'll be a recommended one that's not their uh, description box then let's do another ad there's so much filler it's Bro, I, I can't even believe you. Uh, congratulations if you made it to today's stream. You guys somehow made it through all the, uh, the hoops. Man. Okay, so for the next whatever years, I'm just going to have these guys 
work on just clearing the field. Get rid of the weeds, get rid of the rockiness. What's up, Crusader? How's the town going? Really good. We're working on getting our spirituality numbers up to get happiness up a little bit. And then we gotta upgrade these homes, but I'm missing some stuff right now. So I'm waiting for a trader to come in so I can try to trade for... Looks like the thing we're missing the most is just herbs right now. I can't, I can't find them on the map at the moment, but I haven't really tried to explore, so we could try that. We'll have our people wander off and get eaten by a bear. Now, we got raided once, and we destroyed them. They absolutely got destroyed. Now we just need more people to move in. Yeah, if we hit 150 population, uh, Good shape. Ah, Beldar has herbs. Yeah, ba basic bucks, Beldar. That's right. But he's got the herbs that we need, so we gotta kind of chill out with him for a little bit. Like button pushed. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. You no, know, it'll be a long time until we build walls. We need to worry more about getting our population up. And farming is going to be the key to that. Uh, you can stream to Twitch and YouTube now simultaneously. Twitch now will allow that for their partners. Yeah, we're playing on the highest difficulty, yep. Yup, that's true. Ooh, is the lightning gonna hit a house? Oh, there's a lot of lightning, look at that. Jeez, we're, something's gonna catch fire. Uh, 
Uh, this is the Alpine map. Houses are upgrading. All right, that's cool. Multiple houses are upgrading. This is good. Oh, Anno 1800? Yeah, Anno actually had a DLC come out. But, it, you know, it's mostly like little cosmetic stuff. I think they're working on a new one, but it's like, I don't know, man. I'd gladly pay for more Anno 1800. The bear gun. Yeah, the planks are just going to disappear now, yeah. When you get upgrades like that, you got to watch your planks. Gorv, hello. Nothing. Well, our people went and explored a little bit. All right, let's go look around a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, you can sell honey. It depends on who's buying what, though. I think Scorv's buying some honey, but I, I need more laborers to work on stuff. Bear. have to build a tower out here, I think. You lost 20 people to bears, yeah. Truly unbearable. Yeah, Deep Rock Galactic is a good game. We have uh, a few streams of us playing that on the channel. Deep Rock Galactic also is releasing a new game soon called Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, I think? Where it's a top-down... Um, it's like uh, Vampire Survivors or uh, Halls of Torment, that kind of game, like a bullet hell game. <laughs> it's really good. It was a very fun game. The demo, we played the demo for that. It was like three hours we played the demo. Just the demo. So certainly a game with a lot of potential. It always blows me away when a demo 
lasts for like the course of a usual stream of like three hours and it's like wow but that's what those games are like you know those um roguelites where you're supposed to die and die and try again bells and secrets was like that too we checked uh we checked out like a kind of like a harry potter isk game that played a little bit like um the art style looked a little bit more like two-point campus or two-point hospital and it was great very fun Well, we gotta start making soap, but we gotta get some people moving into town. Can we build more houses? Now we can. Oh. I think uh, Deep Rock Galactic's even on uh, Game Pass. Sifu, yeah, good game. Videos of that are on the channel. That one's great. Sifu is wonderful. Hope we get more games like that that are just short little... Game doesn't have to be, you know, not everything has to be a God of War. You know, some games can just be like, hey, we're going to go for like two-tenths of the size of God of War, but we're going to do some different stuff. We're going to do it well. It's like, good. Yeah. This pleases me. Ghosts of Sh Go Goats of Shishimi. Yes. Yes, Goats of Shishimi was a good game. Man, I can't wait for Ghosts of Tsushima 2 though. Or whatever, whatever they come up with. I'm gonna cry again all over. The, the bro code. The code of the dude. The bro. At the end of Ghost of Tsushima. When it's like, bro, I love you so I have to kill you. It's like, ah. Oh, That's true love. The first one's supposed to come to PC next year? No effing way. Wow. I'm still gonna play that with a controller though. I mean, that, you got to. I would get so excited in Ghost of Tsushima when we'd stumble upon that bamboo. Like the, there'd be like the five things of bamboo or whatever and you had to slice through. It's like, oh my God, I love this. Such a good game. How are we doing at the farm? Ooh, we might be able to start farming in the next couple of years. is going in. So we're going to watch some houses get constructed now in this old house. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, 
Yeah, the tree color is amazing. Predator is attacking. Yeah, the boars keep attacking as we're exploring. Do that. Go to 1K population. We're working on it. It'll take a while. We're already a tenth of the way there, though. We hit the hundo. Got a hundred population. Another wolf. Well, as we... Oh, we found it. Oh, we fall... Oh, okay, there's two wolf dens up there. Near the farm. So that's where they're coming from. Alright, let's get our hunters together and go kick ass. together a hunting party. Let's see if we can take out those dens. This will be interesting. Wonder if Raptors live and you click and behold the glory. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I notice that too. Like, I'll know Uthris is live or Lumberjack. Whoa, what the hell? Uthris and Lumberjack will be live, and then YouTube is just like, no, they're not. Can't trust him, bruh. Nice. All right, we need these guys to go out and deal with the threats. Got to go deal with those... Uh, Wolf dens. Ooh, eight people moving in. Let's go. Wow. Outstanding. Just leave them as laborers to keep cutting down trees.
Especially up here because we're going to do more farms because of the fertility. Great to see. You want me to go off on another tangent? Oh, no. Just wait. We got to take out these wolf dens. down look at all the pelts there two four six of them well this will reduce the danger to the farmers quite a bit Dens eliminated. Any traps? Uh, the hunters' things can trap, but you need metal. triumphant hunters you want me to be able to train wolves to attack other wolves for me not a bad idea yeah, there was an update for the raiders' camps. They should eventually settle outside the city. Actually, they can start there too. When we were finding, when we founded the city the other day, they were there. So pretty neat. Pretty neat. Wolf War 2, yep. Technically, yeah. We destroyed one hive up here, and now we just destroyed two more. They're lairs. Last night, Lumberjack was playing a top-down RTS. Oh, yeah. Stronghold. Good times.
Good stuff. Resources are looking nice. I want to make some more money, though. Get some more houses upgraded with desirability. I will build a park. People will like that. You won Lumberjacks giveaway for Stronghold full game for Steam? Awesome. That's good. All right, we're going into spring, which means possibly another raid. We could be attacked again. to check and see how the farm does. That was a good sound. Yeah, I think one more year. Let's have four hunters ready to go. We can secure more flanks that way. Cleaning out those rocks. I don't know if we'll get an attack this year. We'll see. Maybe next year, Tim. Oh, they didn't. Uh... All right, we need a little bit more time on the farm. It's almost there. It's so close. We can start getting big numbers of food reserves.
Population close to 150. That's what we need to get to the next tier. Oh, look at all those houses that want to upgrade now. Every one of those with the 5-2 above them. Great. That's good. Big upgrade. That's a lot of material. Luckily, we got it. We're good. No bear presents for Christmas for me? Uh-huh. again. Twenty two raiders coming in this time. We'll add security to the towers for next time. getting shot at. Wait, they're bringing a battering ram? What? So after their first failed raid, their second raid, they're already bringing a battering ram. Why are people going out there? Stop, stop getting killed. Treating. <laughs> Ooh. 
We got him. Not too bad. They brought a battering ram, which was not great. That was like the harder part to stop, but all right, we shall recover. That shall be fine. Beldar's bringing herbs again. new update. Took our first look at the uh, new update yesterday. And now we're on episode two. Where are those predators? house is upgrading we'll be able to snap back and surpass where we were in no time Pioneers of Pagonia is cool, yeah. I'm looking forward to more of that one. And unfortunately, three villagers got killed, but we were able to defend against a force of 22. And they brought a battering ram, which was real bad. But we destroyed it, I think. Or at least we ran it off. And we shall rebuild. Put more troops in the towers, brother. Make him the teacher. We'll have to get another person educated to be a doctor. Do we have festering wounds? We gotta we should take care of them. Yeah, all the patch notes are uh, on Steam from the update. We covered some of them yesterday in our stream. But basically the, the how raids work is a little different now. We'll see what's different as we play a little bit more. We'll be attacked again soon, I'm sure. Oh, yes. They'll be back. Wow, look at that. Our house is upgraded. Now we can have up to 165 people. And there's already four, five, six more houses upgrading. Oh, this is great.
Robin Hood, we have your merry men if you need them. Yeah, we're going to need a, a AC-130 gunship. That'd be good. You can lend us one of those. That'd be great. Oh, the music is so nice. More upgrades are needed. I didn't want to transfer that many baskets. My bad. I wanted to transfer the money. Oops. We're good, but I will take the money, though. Money. We'll need that to keep the uh, hospital operating. Hey, a villager was cured. Fantastic. You never really got a medieval vibes from uh, Farthest Frontier. I, th I feel like when you first start, it gives me those vibes. And then when you start building castle walls, it reminds me a lot more of Stronghold. Earlier in the stream, I was mentioning how when I was playing Stronghold, I was thinking about this game a little bit. And when I play this game, it does remind me of Stronghold a little bit. Especially how, like, you can build the Fletcher buildings, which is exactly what you can do in Stronghold. And then build walls and towers. I hope eventually we can put people on walls and then have them patrol. That'd be really cool. What's up, Joe? Welcome aboard. Uh, we could get cows now, I think. We have to build a barn, but I need more people in the town to first start basic farming and uh, to do laboring. You know what's interesting in the game is that we kind of have to have a pretty good amount of quote-unquote unemployed, which means people who are just general laborers who will continuously cut down trees and such because... One of the things we always will need is people to clear the land for when we're building new buildings and or clear, you know, cut cut down trees so that way we can um, turn them into firewood. And that's a constant year-round thing, so. We'll see. A little unknown. But well, we do need to get to 150 population now for our next tier. I think two villagers died from their wounds in combat. All right, that happens. Good thing we kept our doctor. Alright, we're at 23% rockiness. We really want that to be higher. I mean, uh, lower. And then the fertility to be higher from those composts that are next door. I think we're going to start farming next spring. Finally. Means a lot of extra food, which means a lot of extra people. We'll finally get past our stun lock. Building is on fire. There is. One oh two. Let's get a fisherman assigned over here.
Uh oh, we got typhoid spreaded. Yeah, walls are good, but the enemy will break through those. But the towers are better because the towers, they'll break through those as well, but they shoot back. The walls are important, but they also need a lot of uh, wood to build those. And they bring up, at this difficulty, they bring so many troops. So we're just going to have uh, walls that kind of cover each other. All right, this is bad. We got five people who are sick in the town. Yo, Smokey, thanks for the 29 months. Oh, good. People are being cured. Four villagers have recovered from typhoid. Excellent. Thanks again, Smokey. Yeah, we're going to need to buy more herbs. What's up, Rod? Welcome back. Good to see you. having a uh, house valuation done. Come move into my town. Don't worry. We just... It's a nice town. We just got, like, no school, threat of bears, threat of wolves, threat of invasion, typhoid, dysentery, cholera. Uh, but we do have lots of farming jobs. You guys are more than welcome to... Uh, Go do that. All right, hopefully the farmers finish up the removal of the rocks by next year or at the end of this year so we can plant crops for next year Pubs, yeah. Uh, we got to build those taverns eventually. Got to get some brewskis going, bruh. Got another hunting cabin ready to go. Now we got four hunting cabins going for four different places where deer are spotted.
Alright, we're going to have to do field maintenance regardless, so let's get ready. Let's set up our farms. Let's do peas or carrots. Peas. Then cabbage. maintenance and cabbage. All right, cool. So, they're not going to work until next spring now. And they'll keep working on the, the maintenance and whatever. In part of the one of the cycles. So we'll do our OG move. Let's have them be laborers. Get a bunch of the trees cut down, which is nice. Mama. <laughs> From the fields to the salt mines, exactly. Okay. Oh, I can hear lots of trees and stuff being cut down. That's good. And firewood is good. There's been changes to immigration, it feels like, but I'm not sure exactly what they did. I'm not sure everything they've done so far. Yeah, let's do some pottery. We've got lots of, lots of, lots of clay. We can start with a potter building. Over meow. Pottery is really good, especially with uh, what's her name. She buys a lot of that. Hey, what's up, Pete? Welcome back, dude. Yeah, pottery. Uh, I think also is required for these homes. Yeah, they want pottery and candles. Uh, we'll do candles when we get a few more people. We'll see how many trees they can cut down in the winter. We have 530 clay. Oh, wow. We got 10,000 clay there. That's great. I'm going to cut back on people working there a little bit. Actually, I'll, I'll just put those people to work in that pottery building instead of mining the clay. We got real ahead on that. 
You like the winter style? Yeah, it looks great in this game. Typhoid again? Yeah, we're going to need a uh, clinic the whole time. Yeah, the seasonal transitions in this game are great. One thing that's really nice is that there's always stuff like flying around on the screen. But, like even in the spring, there's kind of like leaves and pollen and stuff flying around. Kind of dies down in the summer, but autumn and winter, of course, have like leaves and snow blowing around, which is great. Both good stuff. Yeah, this game is wonderful, yeah. And now the raids begin. Um... More stone is needed. No, we haven't had a blizzard yet, but there is bl there's been plenty of snow. Let's go with more fish for next year. But that's why we built the farm. Now we can get uh, cabbage and stuff going. Yeah, the retirement thing was removed like a day or two after they implemented it. Alright, let's get some food. The foragers should be able to get lots of food right away. People back on farming. full group there. All right, let's set up the fishing docks.
All right, cool. Now we just got to build the remaining fishing huts and other stuff. Now, hopefully there's no attack this year, and hopefully we get more people into the town. We shall see. All right. More fish. These things at the park, yeah. <laughs> That's right, they'll have to bring their EpiPen. Important. Farming begins. And stone is needed too. We need more immigrants. Luckily, we have housing for like 72 more people, so that's good. Oh, and another stormy weather. Standing by. That was a rough couple of years, though. Like, things are going good, but there was a lot of disease and typhoid and such, and then two invasions. Like, after we built that compost site, it was like invasion, disease, 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 invasion. And then a little bit more disease. So we're, <laughs> we're actually in good shape. I'm surprised. I am surprised. Surprised, even. All right, where's our traders? Yeah, this game is beautiful, yeah. Okay, I think we'll make two people make pottery for now. Hopefully by next year we'll sell. Actually, we're going to supply locally, which will bring us some money. The more things we sell at that market, too, the more money we make. Which is nice. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to need some more blueberries. Well, we got to get people out of this uh, lump they're in for food. But that's why we built the farm. We have farming going on, and then we just built some more fishing docks.
building is on fire. Oh boy. Thirteen hundred gold now. That's good. Good shape. Also, I think we've added more security to the towers too. Got one going down here, too. Nice. Ah, uh, food's going to take a while. What is this? Could also be an indication of uh, drought. Okay, we got a uh, pottery he'll buy. Okay, looks like we were able to accumulate a month of food. Good job to the foragers on that one. Predators are attacking. Oh, God. We need Jesse Ventura. The Preda Bear. Actually, I think those hunters will come down and probably kill them. You know, there's not been any wolf attacks up at the farm. Nah, it's all bear attacks now. Nice. No gold storage. Oh, is it because it's full? Fine, we'll put some gold in the trader. We'll put uh, 300 in the trading post. Now, hopefully next year, we'll make um, uh, pottery. Be able to sell that.
Need a big migration wave? Yeah, we, we are a little stunlocked at the moment, but that's all coming down to food now. But two fishing docks and the farm that we just added should hopefully help out with that. And they're actually getting to farming. Then next year they'll remove some more weeds and rocks and the cycle will repeat. You gotta get those food numbers up. These are rookie numbers. No, this game's not multiplayer. Nope. Not without mods. I don't even know if there's a mod for it like that. So glad we got a farm online now. And we want to buy some food. <laughs> Trying to get the amount of food and storage up so we can do a little better. Takes a while. Oh, 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 another house is upgrading. Oh, that's a good sign. Getting more stuff. <gasps> and the farm is looking good. Let's go. build another market down here next to this park just below it when we get a chance when there is a prime opportunity what kind of town is this mid uh, this is where all the suburban moms live this is the town of only suburban moms being complete. Yeah, this is Canada, right? Yep, right now we're growing craft dinner. And we got a few people out uh, out for a rip, but Yeah, the settlers. Yeah, we played a game uh, well we played the settlers on the channel uh, recently newer one but we also played a bunch of a game called uh, pioneer is it pioneers I think it's pioneers of Pagonia it was a demo video was on the channel and was quite fun 
Very much like playing the original. All right, looks like we're done with the peas and the beans. I think. Fractured bone. All right, our immigration has like come to a dead stop. We got to get more food. Might come down to just being patient with the farming, though. So much housing, but no inhabitants. Yeah, you got to have like a big, you got to have like a big um, housing gap for people to want to move in. It's kind of weird. Like you, you think if. You had 102 people and you made it so that way there was room for maybe like 115 or something like that. That would attract more people, but they're very picky. Episode 1's on the channel, yeah. I didn't just make an episode 2 out of nowhere. Check the channel, go to lives, and then you should see our live stream on this game from just the other day. Hmm. If only we could get more bread or something. That's going to be a while, though. You almost forgot to smash like? Oh, never forget to smash like. Raptoria needs you. Good, 300 firewood, that's good. I probably won't even shut it off until we get closer to maybe like 700. It'd be cool if uh, getting rid of the rockiness in fields would increase the um, your stone supply. Stone could be used for a lot of things. Building buildings, roads. Yeah, there's probably more deer out there, yep. We're gonna just try to get this uh, food number up to like, uh, hopefully six months. Yeah, Canadians would call this game simply the Yukon. Ooh, we got three months of food now. Let's go. No, we don't have a slot machine uh, in the chat, yeah. I think we're going to try to uh, more and more try to do away with the automated messages that we have and hopefully just rely on chat to put those in whenever. There used to actually be a way um, via the stream deck, you know, I could hit a button and then it would just, if I saw someone ask a question in the chat, um, like, I don't know, I, like it, Raph, did you have a playlist for this game? And then I could hit a button on my stream deck and then it would just pop up the playlist, but um, I don't know. For whatever reason, we're not. 
the stream deck can't log into your YouTube account anymore to like post a, po a message as you anymore? I don't know. I'll have to ask Lumberjack if there's a way to do that. Does that say five months? Oh, no way. We have five months of food now? Let's go. And that's probably going to go up even... Uh, now it's down to four. That's fine. But we we're able to hit five months right at the end there. Cabbage is going to be huge for the next year. Beautiful. That means we're going to start seeing more immigrants coming into town. Unlocked at 102. Come on, baby. Well, food's not that bad. We got a lot of people working in that field. 48 shoes. Damn. Good for a trade. All right, let's do this. Let's cut back on the Fletcher. We had a lot of arrows. We'll cut, cut them down. Then we'll do... Oh, is it the cobbler? And we got winter coming too, so we can take the farmers away. And they'll become laborers, cutting down more big o Trees, brother. plenty of work to do but yep cut down all these logs will give us tons of extra wood for the next year for the uh, firewood cutter be able to get caught up all right so we're a little stun locked at the moment population stun locked at 102 due to lack of food however we're going into winter with four months of supply winter won't last four months we'll probably get into spring with two months and then uh that, that number could go up uh, back up to three. Probably, probably going to go down to two or one. And then we'll see it go up to like six months, I'm thinking. And that's when more people are going to move in when they know that there's a lot of food in the town. We got plenty of room for them, too. 87. Now, the next goal really is to get to 10... 150, actually, and to have 25 homesteads built. So we need a couple houses to upgrade. We'll have to keep buying more um, um, herbs. Oh, also, we should probably build a little market down here. Yeah, I'll build a little market mount, see? Very nice. Yeah, Chad, if you want to see more of this game, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Because we got... I mean, even though um, yesterday was tremendously productive, today was even more so. We fended off our first couple of attacks. We built our first farm. We have a, uh, two marketplaces on the way. We've got ourselves the small park, the school done. we got the healer's house done. 
and population is creeping towards 150, which brings us up to tier 3 as soon as we can get there. And it looks like a bear attack. We don't care about no bear. Ain't care about no bear. Ain't care about no bear. Hell yeah. All right, chatty chatters. Well, that's going to be it for today's stream, episode two of the version 0.91 update for Farthest Frontier. If you want to see a lot more of this one, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button as we rock it to uh, tier three from tier two and hopefully get beyond. I'll see you all in a little bit for uh, a game that um, it'll say Coral Island, but we're actually going to change over to a game called uh, America... Academia? I forget, actually. I forgot the name of it. It's, it's one that I really wanted to play, though, although I've forgotten the name. Uh, America... I forget exactly what it's pronounced. Uh, oh, yeah. American Arcadia. That's what it is. It sounds very interesting. Guys, we've got an astronomical high number of new games, updates, DLCs this week. It's going to be insane. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll take a little bit of a break from Farthest Frontier, and we'll just try to... Every day this week, we're going to try to play a new game. Um, so we're going to play a new DLC, a new update, something new every day on the channel. So subscribe, drop by, come say hello, and see what we got planned, because there's going to be a lot of new stuff. Free updates, DLCs, and brand new games are going to be dropping every day this entire week. It's going to be huge, so don't miss out. Thank you very much for subscribing, turning on the notification bell, and I'll see you all in a little bit for our next Big O Stream. Thanks for watching.